Hi, this is Dr. Ock of Mind's Eye Models. We have molecular model kits suitable for organic and general chemistry, and we thought we would take this opportunity to use YouTube to introduce you to our kits. Here we have one of our organic kits. They come in an easily backpackable plastic case with a very brief instruction sheet that you can use and a significant number of metal clusters that are used for making the bonds and plastic tubing for preparing the various atoms that you would like to make the bonds with. Naturally, the color coding for these atoms would be important and as you can see we have white atoms that are hydrogen, black or carbon, blue or nitrogen, red or oxygen, Fluorine and chlorine are light and dark green. Orange and brown are bromine and iodine. Yellow and purple are sulfur and phosphorus. And lastly, gray is used for silicon and any other metals that might be involved in the molecule that you're building. In the kit, you have plenty of all pieces. A lot of them come as larger pieces of tubing. Some are already pre-cut for you to give you an example of how you would use them. Today, I'd like to show you how to prepare some bonds made between some of the atoms. First of all, it's important that the models reflect the relative proportions of the sizes of the atoms that are involved in building the molecules. And as you can see, carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen are capable of making single, double, and triple bonds, and their lengths in inches should reflect that as they increase the number of bonds between them that their covalent bond length gets shorter and shorter. Again, these are approximations in nature, not exact, and I don't think that exact is really necessary for it to be effective to help you to understand and see the sizes and shapes of the molecules. We also have recommended sizes for the remaining atoms that you may need on a routine basis. Some of the atoms come pre-assembled for you. For example, Carbons and hydrogens come as a black and white tubing that is already prepared for your use and ready to go. In this instance, using a safety blade, you would simply take and press at the black to white interface, cut the tubing to the correct size, and now you have a carbon to hydrogen bond that's ready to be used in your models trimming off this small white piece at the end that can be saved to represent non-bonded electron pairs later. You can see that these are very easily prepared and ready to go. You have carbon to oxygen, carbon to nitrogen, oxygen to hydrogen, and nitrogen to hydrogen bonds that are already pre-prepared for you in the kit. You just need to cut them into their pieces. However, there may be instances where you want to prepare other types of bonds than these. For example, you might want to prepare a carbon to bromine bond. Well, the way that would be done is to review your bond sizes. A carbon to carbon single bond is about three quarters of an inch. And for example, bromine is a little bit over an inch taking a piece of carbon tubing and using a plastic ruler I'll just lay this out and try to cut a three-quarter of an inch piece for the carbon to be used in this bond. Just pressing down hard with the blade I've now cut my piece for my carbon to be used in my new bond. Then taking a piece of bromine which you can see is slightly longer than the size recommended earlier so I need to be slightly over an inch I'm going to cut the piece at that point and now I have my two pieces. As I mentioned earlier the kits come with a variety of metal clusters. There are tetrahedrons used for sp3 carb hybridized carbons. There are trigonal bipyramids which are used as sp2 hybridized carbons suitable for making double bonds. And then lastly, sp hybridized nuclei, suitable for making triple bonds between carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. 
They're durable metal, they should last a long time, and they're color coded. The SP3 hybrids are a kind of shiny silver color, the SP2 are a brass looking color, and the SPs are a copper looking color. Getting back to our carbon to bromine bond, you're also included in your kit are some of these small pins. My carbon at three quarters of an inch long is slipped onto the end of one of the pins and then the bromine is added to it creating a carbon to bromine bond of the correct size. That's the procedure you would use to prepare any combination of atoms that you might need to build the molecule of your choice. We hope this is helpful. We'll be preparing other videos that go further into stereoisomers as well as uh, cis and trans isomers and six-membered rings showing axial and equatorial conformations. And we hope that you'll consider our model kits when it comes time for you to need one. We say this a little tongue-in-cheek, but our models will help you to see the, your, your application better and uh, we jokingly say that they're for the spatially impaired because that's what I felt I was when I was in school and I found these kits to be a big help for me. Thanks again for your time and we look forward to uh, helping you with your schoolwork.